Scientists grow heart tissue on spinach leaves. Maybe Popeye was right all along. Long hailed as a superfood rich in nutrients, researchers have now successfully converted spinach into beating human heart tissue. Scientists at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts washed spinach leaves with detergent to remove the plant's cells. The process preserves the plant's vascular system, which the researchers then seeded with cardiac tissue. After several days, the leaves began to beat like a heart. The scientists then passed dye through the plant's network of veins in what they say is proof of concept that spinach has the potential to transport blood. The researchers said they believe spinach could be used in the future to treat patients with heart problems, possibly by grafting spinach implants onto damaged heart tissue. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The advances of modern science never cease to amaze us. Modified spinach plants detect explosives. MIT researchers have modified spinach plants to turn them into bomb detectors. Explosives such as landmines contain chemical compounds called nitroaromatics. If nitroaromatics are present in groundwater, they are absorbed by the roots of the spinach plant and transported to the leaves in a process called transpiration. Researchers embedded the leaves with molecules that bind to nitroaromatics and carbon nanotubes which emit a constant fluorescent signal that serves as a reference. An infrared camera reads these signals. When nitroaromatics are present, the fluorescent signal from the molecules decreases. Once the decrease is detected, the device sends a wireless signal to the user. The experiments were conducted within a distance of 3.3 feet, but researchers are confident that the radius can be increased and that one sensor could monitor multiple plants. Robotic heart sleeve supports failing hearts. Harvard researchers have developed a soft robotic sleeve that can replicate normal heart muscle movements in order to support failing hearts. The human heart twists as it beats in a motion similar to the wringing of a towel. In order to mimic this rotational motion, scientists created two sets of silicone robotic sleeves. The first one expands and contracts concentrically, while the second one expands and contracts helically. The device is designed to slide over the heart like a sleeve. When inflated with pressurized air, the sleeve can help to boost the amount of blood being pumped. The device is still at an early stage of development, and longer-term animal studies need to be conducted before it can be used in humans. 3D printed organ on a chip could end animal testing. Harvard scientists have developed a 3D printed heart on a computer chip, which can be used to study heart conditions without testing medical treatments on animals. The heart on a chip is composed of a small piece of flexible polymer that contains living human heart cells which can mimic the physiological response of a human heart. The chip also contains integrated sensors. The sensors collect data on the beating of the heart on a chip, which can be used to study how the tissue responds to drugs or toxins. Other organs, including bones, lungs, the liver, and gut, can also be made into organs on a chip. Backers of the technology say it is a more accurate alternative to testing drugs on animals, and hope it can decrease the number of animals used for testing. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Carbon turned to stone in climate change breakthrough. Researchers in Iceland are hailing a potential game changer for climate change after successfully converting carbon to rock. The project could help to reduce global warming by burying the waste CO2 produced by burning fossil fuels. Scientists at the Hultushedi Geothermal Power Plant in Iceland have converted carbon dioxide into the volcanic rock basalt. Researchers pumped 230 tonnes of CO2 into rock 500 metres underground, dissolving the gas in water to prevent it from escaping. More than 95% of the gas turned to stone within two years, speeding up a natural process that takes hundreds or thousands of years. A potential problem for the technique is that it requires 25 tonnes of water for every tonne of buried CO2. 
However, researchers say seawater can be used, which is abundant at coastal sites. The project is seen as an improvement on existing carbon capture and storage methods that store CO2 as a gas, causing concern about potential leaks. <laughs>